Hello guys, welcome back. I'm your friend Insexo. Today I'm going to introduce you the new feature of Flighter OCR. Now it's in version 1.1 and it has a great upgrade in the last week. At the beginning, the first change on this software is that now it's, it has a transparent icon. So as you can see here, the Flight OCR has a better icon uh, compared to the previous one. Okay, let's open it. And then as you can see here, we got a loading screen. Another feature I added for this time is that I have added three tables for this application. The first one, it is the imaging. From this page or from this table, you can add an image to it. And the second one, it is the PDF tab. And from this tab, you can add your PDF file to it. And we can do some OCR stuff with your PDF file. And the third tab here, it is the history. So whenever you did a, an OCR detection, it will be added to this history list. So this is what I have changed on the UI part. Then I also added some features and I think it's an important feature. For example, you, if you type the menu icon here, you will see two options. The first one is choose OCR language languages and the second one it is about. Let's first look at the choose OCR languages. If you click it, you will see a list of different languages. For example, you can choose the Chinese language or you can choose the English language and it, it is default to have the English language included. And also you can choose French or Japanese or something else. Whatever you can choose, you can choose multiple of them and click the OK button. It will save that settings and the, in the next time when you do an OCR detection, it will recognize that language for you. And also here I just added an about option. If you click it, you will say some information about me. All right, enough talking. Let's learn by doing. Here, for example, at the image page, if you click the A button, you can select an image. For example, I'll choose this one. Then it will start to do some OCR detection. It's, it's in process. After it is done, you say at the left side, it's the original image. And on the right side, it's your text that is available for you to copy. Then let's go to the next part the PDF page. And from this page, you can also add a file. For example, here I just downloaded a PDF file from the internet. I didn't mean it, but I just downloaded it recently. Okay, let's open it. And as you can see, it's in loading. After it is done, you can see all those images that your PDF contains and you can scroll down for a little bit to see all of them. Or even better, you can do it with the full screen so you can see it clearly. After you set up your mind about which image to use to do the OCR detection, you can just click it to get in the OCR process. When it's done, you can again see your image and the text OCR results on your screen. Next, if you want to find out your previous work, you can go to the history tab. And in here, for example, if we want to give it a look at the scene.png file, we can just click that and we will see the result that we get. For example, here, all those text has been copied to the clipboard. And if we want to delete some history, in our list, we can click this icon and after that, it's gone. So this is the basic usage of the Flatter OCR version 1.1. I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.